All right, so here's our nighttime shots, uh, nighttime review for the Technicolor pixel bulbs. Um, I've got a string of 50 here uh, up on the garage. At this spacing, these are about 20 feet long, this string. Um, the strings that are 8 inch spacing would be about 30, a little over 30 feet long, 32, 33 feet long. Um, but I wanted to show specifically what all the different lenses look like. Um, so here you can see these very first couple lenses. Um, these are the opaque white or milk white they call them. Um, I don't really know how well the video is showing this, but these really look like a uh, ceramic, uh, traditional ceramic C9. Um, really smooth, even color over the whole base or the whole lens of the LED. Um, not any hot spots that we get with a lot of the lenses. Um, and as you can see, they're very, very bright. Um, going down the line, these next ones here, these are actually the clear plastic. Um, it's the same mold, same shape as the milk white lenses, but just in clear plastic. Um, from the distance, these ones really look the brightest and they kind of uh, kind of look more like a traditional um, clear glass C9 with the filament inside. Um, but I really like these ones. Um, I think they, they look good. Um, the next one is the C9 faceted bulbs. Um, these ones still have the hot spot at the base and they definitely do disperse the light uh, due to the facets um, but I think the brightness suffers a little bit. Uh, these just straight clear ones over here are definitely much brighter than the uh, faceted C9 style. Um, and then down here we have just the bare nodes um, and you can see these are up here just with regular roof clips um, nothing crazy nothing fancy um, just clipped them right onto the gutter and clipped them around the base of the bulb and as you can see the design of the node itself it doesn't need the lenses um, in order to be able to be grabbed on by one of those uh, gutter clips so there's the whole line going down um, as far as total brightness on these things um, again I'm not sure how well the iPhone is just fabulous for low light shooting. Um, this is the side of the house. This is about oh, 25 feet away from the roof line over here. Um, and this is really, it's a light colored house, but it's lighting up all of the, the side and clear this far over. Um, each one of these LEDs is a half watt. Uh, that's the, the power consumption. I don't have a measurement for uh, the lumens on these. I really, with all the testing, I really should probably break down and get a light meter. Um, but very, very happy with these. Um, and again, I've got several of those uh, sample strings left, the little short uh, five-node strings with one of each of the lens types on them. Um, so if you really want to make a big purchase and just want to see what they look like, get a hold of me and uh, see if I can send you one of those sample strings. Um, also wanted to show real briefly here, this string actually has the uh, 3 meter lead wire, uh, extension wire on it. So I've actually got my P12 in here in the garage. Um, Lights turned on. So I've got the controller sitting here in the garage, um, and then that wire's running all the way up here to the gutter. Um, 
So, again, um, pretty pretty happy with these. Uh, they're very bright. Um, I think the lenses, you know, really uh, really add to the overall look and color. Um, my personal favorite is the the clear plastic. Obviously, uh, I like the frosted from the retro look, but um, get some samples and see what you guys think.